Now, a fundraiser close to our hearts and one that I've been doing since Varsity is making its highly anticipated return this month. On the 26th of August, the Peninsula School Feeding Association will be doing their part to end child hunger as they host the annual Blisters for Bread charity fun walk. And this year's campaign will be like no other as the race celebrates its 50th anniversary. And to chat about the race, we have we are joined by Charles, Richard and Stanley from Blisters for Bread. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. 50 years is absolutely incredible. Richard, it doesn't seem like the walk is planning on slowing down. What has been, you know, what has made Blisters for Bread so successful? What has made it so successful? I think it's mainly because people like to have a reason to do something. Mm. You know, we, we want to um, more than just going out for that morning jog or some fitness idea, that we actually walk for a purpose, that we have a reason to get up, get out, just and keep on going. Keep on going and of course doing it for a good cause at the end of the day as well. What makes this event so special for you? The actual walk itself, I don't remember that well and I think Stanley won't either. Because I mean we were what, 16, 17, we were young, fit, it wasn't a big deal for us. Okay. I remember better the looking for sponsors, having to go door to door and I was terribly shy back then, but I had to find the sponsors. I had to find people who were prepared. And back then you didn't do that. Nobody looked for sponsors. You, you didn't get people coming door to door and saying, listen, will you sponsor me five cents a kilometer because we're walking for charity. Yeah. Didn't happen. It didn't happen, but it is happening today. Um, Stanley, you and Richard, you guys were part of that inaugural walk 50 years ago when you were a matriculant student. What do you remember from that day? The funny part about it is I remember very little about the walk <laughs> itself. <laughs> Um, a, because of the, the, the length of time that it, it's gone, but I remember the, the peripherals, the before and the after. The walk itself was not much of an effort. You know, you're 16, 17 years old, you fit the very peak of your form. It meant absolutely nothing in terms of exhaustion. Mm. I recall afterwards I was a little tired and a little stiff, but no blisters, fortunately. <laughs> and as Richard said, the big problem was, of course, now getting the sponsors and then also trying to collect the money from the sponsors after the walk. Okay. But it was a beautiful day, and of course it was for charity, and I'm very pleased that after 50 years it is still going strong. I, in fact, I have pretty much no idea that it was a half century ago <laughs> until <laughs> Charles mentioned this. And I thought, well, there you go. There you go. A half century sounds so long ago, and I see you guys brought some of the original. This is what you wore on that first Blisters for Bread walk, right? Yes. yes. Wow, it's so much bigger, and I mean, uh, today it's so much smaller. But Charles, <laughs> I mean, the 50th anniversary, <coughs> it is a massive anniversary. What can the Im community expect this year? You know, this, this event is a fundraiser for hungry school children. That's the purpose, to create awareness of childhood hunger and just uniting people from all walks of life to walk um, in the fight against childhood hunger. I think the 50th is, it's a, everybody, it's not a race, Zoe, it's a walk. Everybody participates. There's a five kilometer walk and a 10 kilometer walk. It takes place on the 26th of August. Um, the first walk took place, uh, this, this walk takes place along the Sea Point Promenade, five and 10 kilometers. And the first walk took place from Simonstown to Lansdowne to Savio College, where these gentlemen were in matric at oh, the wow. time. I was two years old at that time. <laughs> I hate it when I tell that, <laughs> but yeah, and and this year it's just uh, you know they I think how many miles did you work then? It was 19, 19, 19 miles. miles. Nineteen miles. I think that's about thirty kilometers. That's quite far. Yeah, I know that the miles ratio. So I mean, in comparison, this year five kilometers, ten kilometers of your time and energy, it really is nothing in comparison to the good that it will do. Yeah, and people still go out and get sponsors. We still get sponsors. Um, it's sixty rand to enter the event. And yeah, we've only, online entries are open till the 19th of August. So I urge you all to enter Blisters for Bed. We've got Carl Juch performing, he's a singer. Yes. And some very cool dancers, contemporary dancers. And everybody gets a medal when they finish walking. 
And I think that's what makes it so extra special. Yeah, I'm just looking at the picture. There's sort of the vibe. You know, over 13,000 people walk. I think you had about 200 and something. 235 for the first, which was just the scholars yeah. of the school. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you so thank much you. for joining. And it's like you said, you don't remember the physical walk, but you remember the before and the impact, the after. So mm. thank you so much for joining us. And like uh, Charles said, those entries to enter is open until the 19th of August. But the walk is taking place on the 26th of August. And you can enter Blisters for Bread that's taking place at the Greenpo uh, Greenpoint Fan Walk. Um, in fact, it starts at the Greenpoint Cricket Club. And those entry details is at psfa.org.za.